everyone, A League of Their Own back with another video. This is part five of my 2020 Detroit Tigers spring training recap. It's very surreal to be making this video knowing that only a month ago I was in Lakeland at Tigers spring training and how different the world looks just a month after that. So I hope that everyone is staying safe, staying healthy, and laying low. So let's get into this recap here. This is going to feature some of my favorite items to get signed, which are signed photos. And particularly, these will be my dad's signed photos. So as some of you might know, my dad loves to take photos of players. He's really into photography. And one of my favorite things is to get those photos signed. So I was running out of some recent photos. So my dad was able to go to the back practice fields, take some pictures of the Tigers, and then I went to Walgreens, got those pictures developed, and then was wanting to get them signed. Now, not only was I wanting to get them signed, but more importantly, I wanted to give a copy of the photo to the players. So that almost seems crazy to think about trying to do that today, but a month ago, it was very well received by the players and they, and they were all very grateful. So pretty cool just to be able to give back to them like that. I wanted to spend a day sort of handing out the photos and then if I had an opportunity, which thankfully I did, I had the player sign the photo a day or two after that, which I thought was pretty cool. The first thing that I have in the background here, this is not a signed photo. This is obviously a signed Sports Illustrated item that I had brought for Alan Trammell to sign. Unfortunately, Tram had fractured his leg. He did that in a snowmobiling accident up in Michigan with Kirk Gibson. So they were snowmobiling, and normally Kirk Gibson leads the way because he's familiar with the trails, but he let Tram go first and Instead of Tram turning to go left on the trail, he went straight and accidentally crashed into a tree, thus the broken leg. So he arrived a little bit later to spring on a golf cart and was able to get him to sign this. He signed for everyone out of the golf cart. So Alan Trammell is always a class act. Very grateful to have him as a longtime forever member of the Detroit Tigers and now Hall of Famer. So I just thought that this was a great piece to get done. He also put the Hall of Fame 18 inscription and I think it looks great. So next up here, we're gonna get into the signed photos. First up, this is Tarek Skubal. So Tarek is an up and comer for the Tigers. And I love this shot. Tarek really doesn't have a lot of cards that were out. So I thought it was pretty cool to get this one done. So next up here, this is Detroit Tigers pitcher Matt Boyd. Interesting story with this. I actually gave Matt a photo last year that my dad had taken. So... This year I said, oh, you know, Matt, I've got a, f a photo here that I'd like to give you that my dad took. And he said, oh, yeah, like you gave me one last year. And I said to him, oh, my gosh, you remember that? And he said, of course I do. So he's like, yeah, I'd be really grateful to to have another tell your dad thank you. So I thought that was pretty neat. Matt Boyd is just the nicest, most genuine guy ever. So this one turned out really great this year and happy that he signed it as well. So next up, this is Tigers catcher Jake Rogers. This was the only photo that my dad took that was left over from last year in a spring training game. So Jake signed that beautifully. He was really, really grateful for this picture. It was pretty cool because when I saw him leaving the training complex, he actually had the photo in hand in the Walmart, or pardon me, the Walgreens envelope that we had given him. So that was pretty cool. You know, it's, it's one thing to, for a player to say that they appreciate it, but then you know they appreciate it when they're literally taking it home with them. So pretty cool. Really appreciate that by Jake Rogers. Awesome. 
So next up, this is one of my favorite shots that my dad took. I love this one. This is the only one that's in black and white, but boy, does it look good. This is of Detroit Tigers pitcher Daniel Norris. So Daniel Norris is a photographer himself, so he really appreciated this one. I had him sign this one in silver paint pen. So there, if we catch it on, on the light, it actually looks really, really good. So really happy to get that one done. Daniel Norris. So next up here, this is Detroit Tigers prospect, Alex Fiedo, former Detroit Tigers number one draft pick. So super cool when I gave him his photo, he really liked this shot, and he said, you know, we don't get things like this. You know, sometimes I'll get cards from people, but I never get photos, and it's really cool because it's not easy for them to get photos of themselves, or it takes a long time. So I thought it was uh, pretty cool for him to say that, and he signed that really nice there in blue. So great work by my dad, too. That's some great imagery that he captured there. And then you guys know that I'm really high on this guy. Love this particular player. This is former Detroit Tigers first round pick, Matt Manning. And I just love this shot of Matt there. Just turned out really, really nice. He signed it great in blue. So again, another player that was really appreciative to have a photo of himself taken during spring. So I thought that one turned out really nice. And then there's one more of Matt here. It's a similar looking image. The arm slot is a little bit different. This one's actually my favorite of Matt. So just turned out really, really nice signed in blue there. So super happy to have that one of Matt Manning. And then last but not least, I was so thrilled i managed to get out all of these photos to the players there was even some that i gave out i didn't have the players sign the photo i literally just gave it to them so that was pretty cool too now this particular player kind of hard to get access to him um last year he was signing out of his car quite a bit probably like every other day but he wasn't signing it all out of his car this year. So, and you don't want to be giving the players the photos as they're about to go on to the field for practicing. You know, they're they're going to work, so that's not just appropriate to, you know, fill up their their hands with uh, with a photo. So it's all about catching the player at the right time. So I was hoping that I could get this player when he was coming basically out of the Tigers complex towards his car. There's a spot that you can kind of stay behind the fence but that requires the player you know you have to call them and then they have to be willing to come over so normally this player leaves i would say around one o'clock and it was well past one it was past three o'clock that afternoon it was very hot it was about 86 degrees and it had been really hot that morning it was the hottest day of the spring workouts so i thought you know, if, if he comes over, if I if I can, you know, get him to come my way, then I can give him the photo. But if not, I mean, I can't blame him because it's blistering hot out here. So at this point, there was only about four people. And I was just by myself at that point. But everyone sort of followed my lead and came over with me. So um, he did come out. Um, it was around 3.30. And, of course, this player is... Um, you're probably thinking Miggy, but it's it's not. It was Casey Mize, and I asked Casey if he could come over. I said that, you know, I had a, a photo to give to him, and he came right over. Um, he looked at the photo. He said that was a great shot. Please make sure that you thank your dad for me. I really appreciate it. And then I said, would you mind, you know, being able to sign my copy? And he said, of course, absolutely. So this is uh, Casey Mize, and I'm just really happy with how that shot turned out there. I think it looks really, really great. 
So that was really cool. And then the other people, I felt kind of bad. They were there and they wanted to get his autograph. And he said, you know, no, I'm just going to sign for her. So I was hoping that I could have, uh, you know, got those guys some signatures from Casey too. But I'm just really grateful that he, you know, he loved the photo and that he took it with him and that he signed um, my copy. So nice signature there in blue. Um, Casey, according to everyone, he was personalizing every single photo, but he did not personalize this one for me. So very, very nice. And then um, last year I got this one done of Casey Mize. So this was pretty cool. Again, another one of my dad's photos. So now I have a portrait, a vertical shot of Casey and the horizontal one that I got done this year. So really, really cool. Always nice to give out my dad's work. Always nice to see that the players are really genuinely appreciative of it and happy to get them signed. Great for the collection. Great memories with my dad and these are items that will never go anywhere. They are in the collection for forever because of the personal and sentimental meaning that they have with me. So I hope everyone enjoyed this recap video. There is still more to come. Again, really hope that everyone is staying safe, staying healthy. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for caring. And I will see you in the next one.